congratulations on the win for the Aussies. Uh, real hero for tonight. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. I was, depends who you ask. I probably wasn't the hero of the day after I ran Elise out. But, um, yeah, I think 4 for 40, it's pretty remarkable we came back from that to win that game. And it definitely got right down to the wire in the last couple of, <laughs> the last two overs, really, in that last over in particular. Uh, and that, I suppose, that uh, wave five full toss was probably the most controversial ball of the game. Uh, lucky to get away with that. What was being said with the umpires at the... Uh, uh, yeah, I've been talking to some people on the sideline. They said it was a clear no ball. I wasn't sure because everything was happening. But um, essentially, we were just trying to work out whether we got a run for the um, run that we did or who was on strike and things like that. Um, so obviously, it was a pretty tight call in the end. But um, there's a bit of dew out there. So the ball was quite soppy, which is why they swapped it at the end of that over. But I actually think that worked in our favour leading into that last over with pace on the ball and a, and a fre sort of a fresher ball as well. Best of the 20. Oh, look, it's got to be up there. I, I thought we were going for all money at, at one point, and then um, when Ash and I built a little partnership, followed by Talia and I, I think um, just working out the maths in my head, I, I didn't think we were too far off the mark. Um, we probably didn't really... I tried not to let the balls get too far away from how many um, runs there were. Um, if that gap was getting too big, I think it was going to get a bit out of hand, but wickets in the shed at the 40 over mark really helped us and having set batters and then I thought um, as well as Talia and Nick came in and, and played the house down and certainly made my life a lot easier. I think a lot of credit has to go to T-Mac for how she played today. She just came in and looked like she was batting on a completely different wicket to what we were at the start. and. It just goes to show the investment you make in players like T-Mac. Uh, I think she's evolved her game massively in the last couple of years since she's been involved in the setup. Uh, she took free for as well. Um, not out for her. I mean, I don't think she's played 60 balls in one-day cricket or taken more than one. But um, I guess you said an investment in her. Um, yeah, tell us a little about her, her bowling side as well. I mean, Yeah. Uh, she's a hugely skillful bowler, I think. Just her spell the other day when she was swinging it both ways and really troubling some of the best players in the world. For someone that's so young and raw in their international career, I think is really exciting for Australian cricket. We just keep churning out these players who can come out on the big stage and look like they've been there for years, and, and T-Mac's no different. I'm just really pleased that she was able to contribute like she did today and look like she's been there for a really long time. And what about for you, Beth? Is that, you know, is that one of your favourite favorite moments of your career? Is that your best innings yet? Oh, I, I hope I, I hope I can still get better. Um, I was a bit annoyed at myself at the start, but I mean, yeah, I've, it's been a long preseason. There's been a bit going on there, so it's been really nice to just be out in the middle and forget about all the things and um, score some runs and, and essentially help the team get over the line. It must have been a bit of a, a weird sort of process being out in the middle for, for such a long period of time and battling through you know, a really hard period of the game for them. Was there anything in particular that you said to Team Mac about I guess, how to push through and how to get through to the latter half of the innings? Is there anything in particular that you, any wisdom that you gave her? Yeah, I think um, just when she came out, I just said one big partnership's going to win us this game. And then um, she called me a mathematician before because I was calculating how many runs per balls we needed and things like that. And I think just having that measure and how we spoke about her and I getting to the 40th over mark and not leaving more than 90 runs to get. I think we, if we got to that point with wickets in hand, we were going to get extremely close. And um, T-Mac unfortunately didn't quite make it to the 40 over mark, but we were. I think we needed about 87 off the last 10, um, which I thought, given the amount of T20 cricket we, we played, was going to be a bit of a walk in the park, but we, we made it pretty ugly for ourselves at the end there. Well, was there any... Um, I don't necessarily think so. I think a lot of credit has to go to India in the way that they bowled really early on. I thought Julian and uh, Meghna bowled extremely well and really troubled our batters. Obviously, we were, I think we were four for about 40. Um, the, wick, the wicket was seaming around a bit and swinging a lot more. I think um, the ball being under lights, it just gave, gave it a little bit more in the wicket. Um, and they used it to their advantage, to their credit. They certainly troubled some of the best players in the world that are in our lineup, and um, we just knew that they get really up and about when they take wickets, and we had to absorb some pressure. And um, whilst it was 
a hard battle out there trying to fight my ego a little bit and trying to take the game on. Um, you just sort of have to suck it up a bit and do the, the job that's required at the time. And um, fortunately, I was able to hang out there until the end and, and help the team over the line. Um, yeah, I think ev everything up till that point that I'd tried just wasn't working. They set really great fields and bowled extremely well to me and to Nick, to their credit. So um, I thought, well, I'm just going to have to try the ramp here. And I actually didn't want it to go to third. Third, I wanted it to go to fine. So I um, was just fortunate it was in the right spot. But it's been something I've been practicing in the nets with Shell in the preseason. And I don't think it's as high risk shot for me these days as it probably used to be. So... Um, yeah, just really happy that it came off today because sometimes they don't, but um, we're on the other side of the ledger today. Um, I'll just whip through. Sorry, guys, I'm just going to whip through. Um, Lockie, do you want to jump in? You've got your hand up. Yeah, just a quick one. Congratulations, Beth. Um, you were out on your feet there at the end of that innings. Um, where does that rank in terms of your toughest innings? Obviously, you spoke about sort of your most rewarding innings, but how tough was it out there to play all 50 overs? Oh, yeah, I think... Um, Hugely tough, like I just really want to sit down now actually, but um, yeah, I think just the, the way the game's evolved, we've got to be always looking for that extra 1% and I probably spent a lot of time this preseason finding that extra 1% or 2% in my fitness gains and um, that's showed in, in the way I played today, I think. Um, just the way CA have been able to manage us during the preseason and um, having access to great facilities and great Coaches within CA has been incredible and I can't thank them enough for the, um, I guess, the, the work they've put into me over not just this pre-season but an extended period of time, the investment they've made. Um, hopefully they think it's worth it. Rob? Hey, Ben. So, uh, congrats. I appreciate the size. It's not short of belief after so many wins in, in recent years. But to, to win in that sort of fashion, is it a, a different kind of boost going forward? Like the, the belief that everyone... Yeah, I think that's going to give us a huge boost, especially leading into that World Cup. We've we've been in that situation before against India, obviously in that 2017 semi-final, and um, you know they're they're a world-class side, and they showed that again tonight. But to just be able to be composed the whole way through that innings with the bat, with some someone like Talia who's not played a lot of international cricket, I think just shows the gains we've made in domestic cricket. Um, within Australia and the Im importance of getting people into this squad and getting them involved in our games and exposing them to, to these kind of series, I think um, that'll give us a huge amount of belief that pretty much anyone in this team can win, win us a game from anywhere. Uh, Mullen, we've got time for two from your end, one or two. Yeah, I think so. I think you've always got to be prepared to be challenged and um, not be sort of backed down from that. I think, um, you know, to, to beat some of the best teams in the world, you've got to expect to be challenged by them. And that certainly happened to us today. But I think moving forward, um, it's just going to show that no matter what the situation is in front of us, I think uh, we've got the team, we've got the belief within that team to, to get us across the line. So hopefully we see a little bit more of that moving forward. But um but hopefully it doesn't leave it to the end like that again. Hi, Beth. Many congratulations on that terrific knock. Um, can you walk us through uh, what it was like for you to watch that uh, uh, power play, you know, from the Indian uh, bowlers, the way they performed, the kind of swing that was on offer, and how it felt like losing the likes of uh, Arisa Healy, Meg Lanning, Ellis Perry, Ash Gardner, you know, and quick successions uh, around you? Oh, yeah, it was really tough. You sort of have to fight fight your mind a little bit when you're in those situations because you can see that the ball's doing a little bit not just in the air but off the wicket as well so it can be really tough in your mind and 
Um, you sort of got to block that out a little bit and just remember what your strengths are. And I thought Talia, as I said before, came in and just absolutely played the house down and looked like she was batting on a completely different wicket. And she certainly made my life a lot easier by going at a, a really good clip. And as I said before as well, we were able to build a partnership. So we knew that to nullify their attack, we just had to get through that really tricky period. And we were fortunate enough to build that big partnership. And then Nick came home with a wet sail and got us over the line.